For this question, we have to draw and label a diagram of the molecular structure of DNA. And this question is a medium question, so we're looking for around about six to seven points usually to get full marks. So the way that I like approaching this is to actually draw two diagrams. Firstly, one is an overview of the DNA molecule, which shows the double helix and the helical structure, the double stranded and the helical structure. So let's draw this now. So draw something like this, a curly line here, perhaps on the side a bit. And then we've got the rungs of the ladder, which represent the nitrogenous bases with hydrogen bondings in between. And then we're going to label them as double stranded, double stranded, so that's the two curvy rungs of the ladder, as well as helical structure. So that's the way that it winds around each other. Double-stranded helical structure. Okay, so that's the first bit. Now we have to draw up a closer up view. So if you'd like to be fancy, you can even draw like a magnifying glass or something like this. So you, the examiner knows that you're drawing two diagrams. The second part you have to draw is the actual molecular structure of the DNA. As well as labeling it, it says label here too. So let's do that now. So we're going to draw our first nucleotide with our nitrogenous base. And that's attached to our ribose molecule here, or deoxyribose molecule rather. Attached on the top here is a phosphate, as well as attached to the next deoxyribose molecule, and then another phosphate. Okay, so let's label these. So this one is, so this one over here is phosphate. Okay, and then let's label this one as the deoxyribose. Deoxyribose. And finally, let's label these, these last ones as the nitrogenous bases. Okay? So one thing that we did forget is this over here. Right, so that's half of it. Now we have to draw the other half as well. So simply copy this down. So the two nitrogenous bases are bonding like that. A is, so A bonds with a T and that only dates Tony and Kate only dates Gordon. So adenine and thymine. Remember to write it out. It's not good enough to just say C and G or A and T. So cytosine as well as guanine. Good. What kind of bond is this in between? It's a hydrogen bond. And in fact, while we're on the topic of hydrogen bonds, that's the dotted lines in between the two nitrogenous bases. However, these full thick lines are actually covalent bonds. So let's write those down too. Covalent bonds there. And once again, we've got them bonding to the deoxyribose molecules here. As well as the phosphates up there. And this is known as the sugar phosphate backbone. And these ones down here, or this triplet over here that I'm going to now outline, is known as a nucleotide. Okay, so look. Medium question, we want at least six points. Let's tick how many of the other points we've got. So we've got double stranded, that should give us a point. Helical structure, very good. We label the phosphate, the deoxyribose, as well as these nitrogenous bases, the cytosine, the guanine. Okay, um, so that's over here. The covalent bond should give us a mark, as well as the hydrogen bonding, as well as the nucleotide and the sugar phosphate bonds. So if you count those, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We've got nine marks, so we should definitely max that one. Second question. Draw a labeled diagram to show how two nucleotides are joined together 
in a single strand of DNA. Very important part of this one is to underline the fact that we're talking about a single strand of DNA. So DNA we normally know is a double stranded structure, but this time we're just talking about one side of that, one particular strand. And in fact, if you were to draw the double stranded structure of DNA like we did in the previous diagram, you would actually lose marks. So let's do this now. Draw a label diagram to show how they connect. So we're going to draw a nucleotide again. So once again, what do we have? We've got the nitrogenous base first. So we're going to write base here. And we're not going to draw the other side of it, but we're actually going to draw the deoxyribose on this side, as well as the phosphate here. So let's label them now. So we've got phosphate, deoxyribose, and our base over here. Let's also throw in our um, hydrogen bond as well. Sorry, not hydrogen bond, covalent bond. Covalent bonds are between the nucleotides. Okay, so we've drawn our first nucleotide. And now let's draw our second nucleotide. So once again, there's our phosphate molecule as well as our deoxyribose molecule. And then we have our base over here. Remember, don't draw anything on that side because you will lose a mark. Covalent bonds, etc. So now you can once again label this as our nucleotide. And this as a covalent bond again. And you can even put down that this is the is the sugar phosphate backbone because you've got sugar, which is the, the deoxyribose, as well as the phosphate. So it's the sugar phosphate backbone. And there you have it. So once again, a short question. So we're expecting around about four, maybe five different marks. So let's um, have a look at the different points that we've got. We talked about covalent bond, phosphate, deoxyribose, as well as the nitrogenous base over here. Four marks already. Most likely you might get another mark for nucleotide as well. So we'd get maximum marks there. There are plenty more YouTube videos for you to check out, just click on the links below. If you'd like to download the questions, as well as the answers, make sure to like us on Facebook first. And finally, if you'd like to find out how I got a 7 in high-level IB biology, make sure to check out our website in the bottom right-hand corner. Thanks.